All right, so we have a 2015 Range Rover Evoque. This is the gas 2.0 engine, turbocharged. This had a coolant leak, which I thought was coming from the reservoir. To replace the reservoir, replace the cap, pressure test it. Ended up figuring out the problem. It was leaking from both sides. Couldn't figure out why, because there's different sides every time. Turned out to be the heater core lines under the cowl in there. So what we're going to do is... Basically, we're going to disassemble the cowl, take the two wiper blades out, the battery box, and I'm going to get started. I'm going to link the tools and let you all know what's up. All right, so right now we just removed all the plastic covers. Pulled the plastic boots off these guys. They're 15 millimeters. Take these guys off. And we're going to take the strut brace bar these are held on by 13, yeah, 13 millimeter bolts. To remove the battery, there, these are gonna be 10 millimeter bolts also. So we're gonna remove the strap brace bar, the cowl, and then I should pretty much have access to what's going on. So this is my first time doing this, so bear with me here, guys. So, and no one else has a video on this. Let's. Let's have at it. All right, as soon as you get the battery out, it's three eight millimeter, take that back, four eight millimeter bolts down there, then the tray can come out. And then we'll see where the heater lines hook up to the back of the motor. But I'm pretty sure we might have to swing the EC out of the way. So next up, we'll get this box out, then see what's up. Maybe we'll take that tray out. Okay, this video is going to seem a little jumbled up sometimes, but bear with me. Like I said, it was I had to remove the battery box. Next is two 10, mil, two 10 millimeter bolts back there. And they're a little bit pain in the ass because this, I guess that's the vent for inside the car. This is what I used. Flex head, 10 millimeter on a quarter inch drive. I'm gonna take those bolts out, swing the ECR out of the way. Gotta cut the zip ties though. Um, I have access to these guys, the two lines down here, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to move part of the air box, or I'm guessing this is some kind of sound symposer thing. But let me take that out swing some of this firewall carpet stuff out and then let's see what we can do um this job shouldn't be too bad i hope back at it so we got the well i took this tube off didn't really, really have to move it but got i took the bolts off the carpet material and they just twist off by hand just to get a little bit of room on there for that back side but it's really hard to see. I got one of the hoses off. And to remove these, fairly simple. This tab, these tabs, you just rotate them counterclockwise from when it's, that's the lock position, counterclockwise to the unlock position. And it's gonna take a little bit of finessing to wiggle, wiggle out. So that's one down, gotta remove the other one. The other side should be fairly simple. They're just a walk around. Excuse the mess. This side's fairly simple. Typical um, push connectors, and these are the locks. So all you gotta do to take these out are put a little screwdriver under those and pop the little locks out and should be good to go. But obviously we need to drain the coolant first. So let me drain the coolant and pop these out and see how easy it is to snake that hose out. All right, so we managed to finesse these guys out. Or right. this is the way it's oriented. Through the firewall, to the heater lines. Not actually as fun as I was thinking, but yeah, we got it out. I put the new ones back in and yeah pretty easy these guys you just push 
pretty simple. Then you pull the clips out, wiggle them out because they are kind of stuck a little bit. I need to verify the O-rings just to make sure they're still in good shape. But if they're not in good shape, maybe I'll leave this project till tomorrow. But yeah, let's check them out then. Maybe I'll start putting the new ones in. O-rings look like they're in good shape. No tears. It's really hard to pick up on the camera. This one's in good shape too, but we'll clean them out. And then reassemble. So, all right, let me get the new lines in and then we'll go from there. Before I put the new lines in though, I just want to verify that they are the same as the new ones. Yep. My local Land Rover shop had this in stock, so there's the part number. And maybe that's the part number. But yeah. Cool. It's all the same. 